Just got some water. Just walking across the field. Going, going back to my campsite. Want to say hi to y'all. Um, it's Eliyahu Zerubbabel. And I just want to say uh, shalom to y'all. And I hope that you all wake up and come together and with one accord. And do something as a united body of believers together. You call yourselves Israel, but Israel was a tribal nation. They had differences. They were brothers that argued amongst themselves. But they were together. From the time that Jacob had his 12 sons, and even, even when the, his sons had grand, children, he was a grandfather and they were still all together in the land of Canaan. And then Joseph got sold out by his brothers, thrown into a pit, carried away to Egypt. And because of them persecuting him and being jealous of him because he was a dreamer, um, well, his persecution became their salvation. And that's a story of most of us. You know, Yah is refining us. He's per we've been persecuted by not only the church, but our own believers in Yeshua HaMashiach. Yahushua, Yahushua, Yahshua. And so the way I look at this is gonna how it's gonna go down is that he's gonna raise up Joseph. He's gonna raise Joseph to be voice to cry in the wilderness, to build up a new Goshen, and to gather the tribes. So so from the time that Jacob had these children, he had grandchildren. They were all together, all 12 brothers. They were still with his brother. They were a family. They were Mishpacha. They weren't divided. They were like, oh, I'm going to go off and I'm going to go here or there. No, they were together. Then they got carried down. Then they had to go to Egypt because the famine. But because Joseph had known that there was a famine coming, he prepared the storehouses for them. And then they dwelt in, then they, they were preserved because of the work of Joseph. And I got to climb over this fence. And then... And then, what happened? Israel, uh, Israel, um, what did they do? Uh, Israel, Israel, Israel. Israel dwelt in Goshen for, what, 400 years? And so, what, what, what about this Goshen place? This, it was a place where they dwelt together for 400 years. So, they were in Canaan, they were together. They went down to Egypt, they were together. They stayed in Egypt, in the land of Goshen. They were together. Now, where did they, where were they when the Exodus happened? When Moshe was raised up as a deliverer to, to set Yah's people free and to bring them back in the land given to their forefathers, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. They were together, camped out in the wilderness, a community. And so, they wandered in the wilderness for how long? 40 years. As what? A community. They were together. Bickering, arguing, fighting, whatever. They were together. Okay. Now, when they came in the land of Israel, what were they? They were the 12 tribes of Israel, 13 tribes of Israel. They were together. And what happened when they settled in the land of Israel? They were together. For years and years and years, how they were all together, together, together. And they got carried away in the northern kingdom, and then the southern kingdom. And then they came back as a people, together. They dwelt in Babylon together, together. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this, right? Unity. We need to stick together. We, we might need separate spaces. We need to be kind of divided, but... We need to be together. This is the only way we're going to survive. And it's the only way you're going to get the label elect. So when he gathers in the elect from the four winds, we're going to be a people that we're already together. We are people that already love one another. The nations will know that we're his disciples by the love that we have for one another. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. Why are you so divided, O Israel? What, why do you think that Yah's going to accept of your division? You know that the prophecy say, Gather together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth. Before the decree bring forth. 
before the day passed like chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh, Yahuwah, come upon you. Not after, not during, before. Y'all need to repent. I need to repent, but I get baptized in a river every single day these days. And you can come down, we can all get baptized together. You know, in the waters of the Ozarks. The Ozarks is only one place. As I'm working on an international organization called Goshen Builders International. And it's to help build these self, these communities all around the world. And we, the idea though, is that we all do it together in unity. And if, if we're not doing it together, even in Asia, Philippines, South America, Central America, Africa, if we don't all have the same goal and united purpose, well, we're not gonna be able to work together that well. But if we do, we truly can be called the sons of the living Elohim. And I, I ask that you just consider like, you know, Israel's supposed to be a tribal nation. The Native Americans were a tribal people. They stuck together in times of hardship. And even in good times, there were divisions and then they started scalping one another or whatever. And then, then Yah, but there's still Yah's marred and scattered people. At least the Alg Algonquin tribes for sure. Um, but tribal, or tribal. See, I, I have white family and I have a uh, Guatemalan family. My Guatemalan family is from Central America. They stick together. I see today in America, you know, the American dream, keeping up with the Joneses. You know, we, it's like they, we try to send our kids off to college. Jacob never tried to send his kids away. You know, Israel never, I mean, we, they dwelt in the land of Goshen for 400 years together. They left together. They came to the land of Israel together. Now, you, most of you think somehow you're not going to all need to uh, be together when Yah gathers us in from the four winds of heaven. Y'all talking about a second exodus, a greater exodus where he'll gather in the elect. But you think you're going to be part of that if you're scattered and, and not working together? How in what way are you going to be a light to the world by being scattered and arguing over petty differences? I understand calendar keeps us apart, but um, pronunciation names should not keep us apart. But even if your brother, if we all came together and we worked together, and we kept and different communities kept different, you know, let's say calendars. Do you not still love your brother in Messiah who, who's trying to pursue and diligently do their best? I lost my, where am I? Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. We've got lost. So please, Israel, come together. Follow the spirit. The spirit doesn't say scatter. Because if you aren't gathering, you're scattering. And if you're not calling the people to gather, you're scattering the people. So my foundational beliefs are Yeshua, Yahuwah, Torah, and community. And preparing an international organization for the gathering of the lost sheep of the house of Israel back to land given to our forefathers. There's a first fruits 144,000 that could be your children. And uh, they will appear in Jerusalem. They will do the work that you didn't do. Are you willing to die in the wilderness and not make it into the land of Israel because you're stubborn and you just want to live the American dream? Why don't you become like the 12 tribes of Israel? You call yourself one of the tribes of Israel. I'm Israel, but you ain't tribal. You're American. You should repent. I'm working on it. It's 35 days in the wilderness, and I still so much to repent for. But... um. I love y'all, and uh, I know that Yah will work on every single one of your hearts in some way or another. So shalom, shalom. Talk to you later. Bye.